Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 30th of June 2025. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying your Monday and feeling fit and ready for the rest of the week ahead as well. Uh, here in the land of smiles, it's been raining this mo today actually, most of the day. Um, um, what's going on? What's caught my attention? Uh, well, something that's caught my attention um, is motorbikes in Thailand. Now, this is a uh, and how people feel about them. You know, we we a motorbike is really an extension uh, of a human being in Thailand, or it's considered that way. People feel very comfortable in them. Um, you know, it's still quite common to see a family of five, meaning mother, father, and three children, on one motorbike you know, on the way to school or something like that. It's still quite common to see that. And uh, definitely um, crash helmet wearing is definitely less than 100%. <laughs> Depending on what part of Thailand you're in, it could be as low as 50% maybe, or and in some places up to about 90%. Um, but if you're a passenger, you're probably not wearing one. If you're riding pillion, you're probably not wearing a crash helmet either. Um, so... Uh, yeah, but people get very familiar and, and think that forget that it's a dangerous machine. Uh, you know, there's some very skilled riders, but also dangerous riders uh, around, and you see them around. Uh, but um, the reason I'm mentioning this is because uh, a, a video has gone viral here in Thailand of a motorcyclist who falls asleep on his motorbike and crashes into a truck. Uh, he just just accelerates into it the truck was not doing anything so just driving along at normal so he didn't break or anything like that the the, the 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 motorbike just drives straight into the back of him because he fell asleep um you, you would think it would be impossible to fall asleep on a motorbike wouldn't you but you know i, I know people feel tired when driving a car you're in a comfortable situation but you would imagine riding a motorbike it must be really difficult to feel so sleepy that you actually fall asleep um but uh, motorcyclists here you know like motorbike taxi drivers and stuff like that will always answer their phone they they're texting and calling and stuff all the time usually while i'm on the back <laughs> and and there's this thing in thailand where if you get a telephone call if that's from a customer or from uh, somebody in, like of a sup what you might consider superior status higher status let's say uh, you are kind of obliged to answer it it feels like that anyway for most people and so they will answer and they will not stop the, the motorbike. They'll just answer it as, as driving along and will text back and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, the story's not finished about this guy who crashes in. The, the reason it's on video is because he was apparently riding on a motorway. Now, it's illegal for motorbikes to even drive on the motorway in Thailand. And most of them are tollways. And uh, I'm not quite sure how he got through the toll booth to even get on the motor, motorway in the first place. The only time... You normally see a motorbike as if it's the police motorbike chasing someone or or maybe leading a cavalcade or something like that. But uh, it's very unusual to see a motorbike. In there. So that's why it was somebody filmed it on their mobile phone. Some kids, I think, in the back of a car just filmed it on, the, on from a mobile phone. And you can see it just go, boom, oh, it's, it's, it's horrible. But apparently he has survived and uh, is uh, recovering, hopefully. So that's a good thing. Um, but, uh, you know, if you are in Thailand, uh, watch out for the traffic. If you're not riding, a, if you're in Thailand riding a motorbike, please remember it is a dangerous machine, especially if you're one of those motorbike taxis who take me around. I was on one for quite a long journey this morning. I do have to use them from time to time. This is unavoidable if you live in Bangkok. If you're a Bangkokian, uh, it's unavoidable that you need to use them sometimes. So... Remember, they are dangerous. Right, I can see some stuff going on with this game of Sudoku here. Uh, this is the LA Times expert level puzzle. Well, we've got five and six blocking down here, and we've got five and six blocking across here. So we can say that we've got five and six in those squares there. We've got three blocking across here, and that's going to give us a three in that square there. We're going to take the three back in this direction across here and down here and that's going to give us a three in that square there. Uh, like I said, five and six in these squares. So the missing numbers here are two, eight and nine, I think. Is that right? 
five, six, two. Yeah, so we've got eight blocking across here then and eight down here. That's going to be an eight. And two in those squares. Nine somewhere up there. Two, eight, nine. Eight somewhere down there. Okay. Uh, now we've got five and six down here, and so we should probably look across here, see if we can get anything else. So we're looking for one, two, four, eight, I think. Eight is here. One, two, four, eight. Okay. All right. At least we've got something to start, something to grab onto uh, before we get going. We've got nine blocking up here, nine blocking down there, so we can also find a nine in that square. Ah, I've just realized. So I said two here, so two and six block across here, so that is in fact two and six in those squares there. So up here we have one and four, and we've got four blocking across there. There's the four, and there is the one. Four down here, up there, and across there for a four there. Two and three block up here, two and three block across there, so that's a pair of two and three. Our eight blocks up there, so that's the eight. This is two and three, so this is five and six. And that means down here is one and four. Yeah, that makes sense, that's one and four. So now we know that this can't be one or four. Let's investigate, so it's not one two three four could be five could be six no it can't be five it's five there could be six seven eight nine no it is a six okay that's our unique rectangle coming into play there six across six across there six down there there's a six six down here and we have five and six in those squares if you remember from earlier on uh, five six across there so that's the six and that's the five <clears throat> four blocking across here and across here so there's our four in fact and now this is a one and this is our four here missing numbers here one five so five across there there's the five there's the one one across here, one up there, so one in one of those two squares blocking up, and one across here, there's one. Nine blocks this square here, we don't have nine in this row yet, we have to put it there and we have to finish this row with an eight. Uh, we can get this, can't we? This was, I've forgotten now, 289, I think, and so this is not, that's a 7. Actually, I think that 7's been there since, it's black numbers, isn't it? That 7's been there since the beginning, didn't even get chance to see that yet, haven't, haven't really stopped, haven't paused for breath. We've got 7's there as well. 
M1, we've got one blocking up here, right? So ones are in those squares there. We've got seven blocking this square. Oh, no, sorry, sevens are on this side. Oh, I made a mistake there. Sorry, sevens are that side. Ones are that side. Sevens are this side. Sorry, got it wrong. Got it wrong. Uh, what are the other numbers? Three, do we know? Oh, okay, so one and three. So <laughs> that's a one and three. So this is seven and eight. <coughs> now we've got eight blocking across there. There's the eight and there's the seven. <coughs> Excuse me. nine blocks this square we need a nine in this column there it is there it is what took us so long as once Shalimar sang there's a two two across here and two up there there is a two and the missing number here is uh, it's got to be something what are you are you three are you I think you are three Three across this way, across this way, three up there, there's a three. Three down, three up, three in that square, three blocks across there, there's a three, there's a one. One across there, and one down there, there's another one. One to the bottom, and across there, there's one. One and three are finished, other numbers still to be had. Six blocks across there, there's the six. The last number down here is a two. Two blocks, both of those squares there. We don't have two in this column yet. Now we do. And two blocks down here, that gives me a two there. The missing number for this row is nine. And the missing number here is seven. Right, let's click on the numbers we still need to see if we can find it like that. Two blocks down here, so that's the two. The last number to place here is an eight. Eight blocks up there, that gives me an eight in that square there. And eight across here, across there, and up there. Does not finish digit eight, why not? Oh, there's one down the bottom here to still get. There we go, this has got to be the last one. Uh, and the missing number here is four. Four to the top and four across there means that's a four. Last number to go there is a five by the looks of it. Five blocking up here puts five into that square. Five across here, there's a five. The missing number here is six. Six across here, there's a six. The missing number here, seven. Seven across there, there's a seven. The last number there, nine. But we haven't finished. We've got nine blocking down there. There's a nine and five will do it okay that's our los angeles times expert level puzzle not as difficult as many times uh, we've seen on this channel okay thanks for joining me take care bye bye